we're going to upgrade the SSD in the GPD WinMax 2021 version. I've got this two terabyte Samsung 980 Pro NVMe drive. Uh, this is, as far as I can tell, the, the largest size drive that you can get in single sided, which is needed to fit in here since this has the RAM under the SSD. Uh, I saw somewhere you needed to use JIS triple zero screwdrivers to open the case, but in testing that, they seem a little bit loose compared to the double zero. So I think we'll go with that, but you do need one with quite a thin shaft. I have this one here, which is which is JIS double zero, but the shaft is too thick for it to easily fit down the holes. So we use this one. Now there are a couple of different screw types, which we'll discover along the way. Very short screws there in the back. Uh, there's a center screw which I don't think exists on the previous year's model. Presumably that needs to be removed. That has a different thread type. It's a plastic type thread rather than the machine screw type that these end ones are. Okay, and then on the bottom there's a warranty sticker there that you have to poke through and undo the screw. Got a long screw there, another long screw there. Should magnetize this screwdriver. That's better. Okay. Shorter screws for the sides. So we need to remember that those two are the long ones. That will organize them in the positions that they come from. Finally, the special one under the warranty sticker, or the void if removed sticker. It's the same size as the ones from the side. Uh, now we have to work out how to get this thing apart. I have a hotel keycard here. We'll try that. Seems to be working. Now we have to be careful of the battery which is attached to the bottom case. And there we go. Okay. The battery cable is on the side with the uh, joystick mouse switch. We'll unplug that. You can take a look inside. Now we can undo uh, the fan. But I want to do this without taking the the heatsink off. But the heatsink bracket goes slightly over the SSD so that lifts up okay. so the bracket there goes over the SSD So that was able to slide out fairly easily. Now this new one, the Samsung, the new Samsung SSD I have mounted on this Thunderbolt 
to PCI to NVMe adapter that has been cobbled together and so I've already imaged the original GPD drive onto this and that is a clean install that I created on the day I got the computer so I didn't really want their virus infected stuff so we'll just get that out so here's the new Samsung drive let's try and slide that in Okay, that went in pretty easily. And we'll put back the screw. That's held nice and securely. Put that fan cable back under there, wherever that was. And then we got the screws for the fan. So that should be all we need to do. Okay, so we've installed the new drive, went okay. We'll reconnect the battery and try to power it up just to test it before we screw this back cover on. Had been used a lot. We might dust out the heatsink, but it's pretty clean. It's only been used in clean areas. It hasn't been on the bed vacuuming up all the dust and crud. So we'll reconnect this battery wire. It just slides in, that sits down, power it up and see what happens. Looks like it's booting up. There you go. So that's all come back to life all happy. Uh, so we'll carefully squish this cover back on. Not sure about battery wire routing, I think that's fine. cases snapped together fine so we'll put back the screws so we're all done this should be all good to go now just checked with AS SSD the performance uh, not too bad but it's not the 7,000 megabytes per second that they were advertising I installed Samsung Magician and put the drive into full performance mode and reran the benchmark and now the result is pretty much the same very very slightly less than last time uh, so I guess putting it in high performance mode doesn't really make much difference well not on this computer so I guess it can go back to standard mode anyway that's all for today